Haven't seen any monsters yet. So I'm just having a paddle this October the 26th, I think. Beautiful weather. I'm going to be too warm in something. Beautiful day, no wind, calm, sunny. I'm going to explore down the river Foyers, which flows on the eastern side. Beautiful day. This is the old bridge, uh, which has been replaced with a new metal one, it's not safe anymore. I don't think you can even walk across it. In fact, it's so dilapidated, there's a warning of falling masonry. Has their way of going underneath it to be honest. But wow, this is pretty in here. Oh, I obviously can't get any further because it's like I can hear water, it's like a waterfall of some sort through there. Just grounded the boat there nearly. <laughs> really careful I don't get stuck. Yeah, that's as far as I can go, obviously. Well, oh, it's nice through there, though. Time to turn around. Head back to the lock. Shame we can't get up, lads. It's a very narrow channel, so you can't get through there at all. It's the kind of place you'd tell uh, your grandchildren that these fairies live down here. <laughs> Fairy bell. It's stunning though, it really is. Sometimes you can't see these slightly submerged rocks and they nearly take you over. <laughs> so I'm leaving the river fires now, I'm heading into the lock. Lock itself. It's not too choppy. Yesterday it was like the sea, it was really windy. So perhaps I should explain where I am. Loch Ness itself, about 30 miles long, Inverness at the northeast end, Fort Augustus at the southwest end. I'm about Two thirds of the way down on the eastern side, and uh, it's a really huge lock. So long, 
it's not particularly wide, it's maybe only uh, here, not even a mile wide here, but it is wider further north. And it's very warm today considering we're just a few days off November. In southern England I think they're talking of 22 degrees down on the south coast. Here it's about 15 I believe, which is higher than it should be. It's a bit cooler on the lot than down that river. I was too warm down there, but now I'm just right. This is a breeze coming from the northeast. It's making a few waves, so I don't think I'm going to go across. I don't want to risk the wind getting up and surfing waves for the crossing back. There's a power station just over there. I'm not sure it's hydroelectric, I'd imagine it is. 300 megawatts of power, 300 million watts of supplies. And these waves are getting a bit like the sea now, so I'm not going to go all the way across the building. I could have done this morning because there's no wind at all. It was like a mill pond first thing this morning. But the windiest part of the day is always the afternoon, nearly always. Best time for anything, kayaking, photography, anything. The golden hours, I say. First thing in the morning, last thing in the afternoon, evening. It might be a gorgeous sunset tonight. The sun sets in the southwest at this time of year. This lot faces southwest, far to us to send. I'm staying here for five nights at uh, camping and caravan clubs, Loch Ness Shore site. Highly recommend it. It's right on the lot. The location is really stunning. I never thought I'd get on Loch Ness to be honest because I thought, oh, a big lot like that. There's always plenty of wind, but this morning it's like a mill pond. So I did a bit of walking and I thought, oh, I'll get the boat out for this afternoon. And there's a statistic with the water in Loch Ness, fresh water of course. There's more fresh water in Loch Ness because of its depth and size and length. It's extremely deep. There's more fresh water in Loch Ness than the rest of the UK's fresh water put together. It's a fascinating fact. Carved out during the Ice Age, when the ice melted, it's really deep. Quite steep-sided in places. Although it's not windy, it's quite a lot of waves now. It's getting a bit like the sea. So I'm not going to be too long before I put in. I think there is rain coming later in the afternoon, I believe, from the south. It's been really nice though I'm here. So I haven't seen any monsters. I can understand why some people think they have, because sometimes a turn of a wave, it looks like the humps of them of a Pleiadiosaurus or something, but anyway, I haven't encountered one yet, so, so that's it with Loch Ness.